Hi guys, this is another nickel problem called trapping rainwater. Given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is one, compute how much water it can trap after raining. So for the example one right here, we can trap six units of water basically in the blue boxes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. For example, 2 is 9, the input is always bad. Well, for this problem, for each, uh, for each element, for each element, uh, we get its left uh, max and its right max element. And based on that, you calculate the uh, volume or the units of the rainwater. So we need to have the two uh, slides or two array. It's called left max. We can initialize it to the length of this height. And we also have the right max. Basically, those two arrays will calculate the left uh, max height or the right max height for each element in the height array. Make int length height. And we also have uh, current. Uh, max element initialized to zero so here we just uh, looping over from the start to the end of this height array or height slice in go whatever so we need to check if the height of i is greater than the current max so we just uh, assign it to the current max and then we use that to update the left uh, max current max so for one for the uh, elements in the index i right here we know what is the current what is the left uh, max for this ice place and we also doing the same thing for each ice place to calculate its right max to calculate the right max we need to loop over the array from the end to the beginning that will be the height minus 1, i greater or equal to 0, i minus minus. We need to check if height of i is greater. Oh, here we need to initialize the current max to 0 back. And here we need to check if height of i is greater than the current max. So we just uh, update the current max is with the current of i. And then we also uh align the right max with the current max so with these two for loops we uh we for each specific ice element we just uh, get its left max and right max and then we could have the variable called units units of water of water initialized to zero and then we loop over this height array 0 i less than the length of the height i plus plus here we need to check so finally we just return the units of water here we need to we because for a specific uh, ice element we have the left max and the right max the water it can contains depends on the depends on which one is uh, less whatever less max or right, right max so we can have a variable here less height we could initialize to zero we just to check if the left max of this element is greater than the or less than the right max of this of ice element then we just uh, assign the less height with the left max because for one specific ice element, the the units of water it can contains depends on the depends on whether left left max or right max is less. Else, we just uh, assign the less height with the right max, and here we just calculate how many units of water it can hold. We could just uh, using the less height minus the height of the ice place that is height of i so that should be the answer 
Hey, Bronco. Left max of I, right max of I. Run again. That worked. Uh, stop me. Okay, that worked. Uh, let me try again. Should be almost a hundred percent solution. Okay, never mind. Okay, guys. So the solution is, uh, for the ice element, we calculate its left max and right max height, and put that in the array, and then for one specific element or for one specific place in the eye, we get the less height variable from the left max or from the right max, and based on that, you calculate how many units of water of this ice place can hold. So that is the answer. Let me know if you have a better solution. Thank you.